During the winter in the Southern Hemisphere, visible between the months of April and October, if you look to the south-southwest, there's a blue point of light between the constellations of Telescopium and Pavo, approximately 30 degrees. From Earth, you can see the location of the closest black hole ever discovered to us. Let's lift off to the HR 68119 star system. About 1,100 light years away from our solar system lies the HR 68119 star system, where this black hole was discovered. It was found in 2020 by the European Southern Observatory. A thousand light years is an enormous distance. If we were to create a scale model of the Milky Way, where the Earth and the Sun are separated by a strand of hair, HR 6819 would be about 6.5 kilometers away. Let's travel far now to get a sense of this distance. In the grand scheme of the galaxy, which spans more than 100,000 light years in diameter, HR 6819 is relatively close, suggesting that the Milky Way could be filled with black holes. This is our galaxy or at least how we imagine it, and all the stars we see in the night sky fit within this circle. HR 6819, which was recently discovered, is about 1100 light years away from our solar system. Even more recently, another nearby black hole was found, Gaia BH1, which is 1500 light years from our planet. The former record holder, V6 and 16 Monoceros, is 3000 light years away, and a bit farther, at 6,000 light years is Cygnus X1, the first black hole ever discovered. We'll visit them on another occasion. The HR 6819 system lies in the direction of the Southern Constellation Telescopium, in its southwestern corner near Pavo. Let's head there. Each bright point we see is a star, and every star is like our sun, potentially with its own planetary system. Covering the distance of 1,100 light years with the fastest spacecraft we've ever built would take around 2.3 million years. HR 6819 Binary System Astronomers studying HR 68119 weren't even looking for black holes. Instead, they wanted to learn more about binary star systems. The massive blue stars are 220 million kilometers apart, just a bit more than one astronomical unit. The star with the longer orbit completes a full revolution every 178 days, while the other star orbits a supposed invisible body every 40 days. The outer star, known as Star B, is six times more massive than the Sun, burns much hotter, and has a bluish hue. Its diameter is roughly three times that of the Sun, and it shines 170 times brighter. Star A is also a massive blue star, with a diameter about five times larger than the Sun. 
six times more massive and 15 times brighter than our sun. Star A is located around 80 million kilometers from the small black hole, a safe distance to orbit it without being pulled in. A four-month observation campaign of HR 6819 revealed signs that this wasn't a standard binary star pair. They noticed the inner star exhibited a motion suggesting it was orbiting another object every 40 days, while the larger star orbited at a much greater distance, circling both the inner star and the mysterious third object. If an object has so much mass and gravitational force, it can't be a normal star as a star of that size would be easy to spot. There is only one type of object that can explain these measurements, a black hole. This invisible object, locked in an orbit with two visible stars, was the cause of star A's orbital behavior. Researchers have long estimated that the Milky Way is home to hundreds of millions of black holes, extremely dense objects whose gravitational fields are so intense that not even light can escape. But finding these dark objects has proven extremely difficult. Dozens of black holes have been spotted in our galaxy, feeding on clouds of gas, a process that emits X-rays as material spirals at high speeds around the black hole's edges. However, most black holes in our galaxy are invisible. We call this type of black hole dormant when it's far enough from any matter source that could fall into its gravitational pull. Therefore, the only way to find them is by observing their gravitational effects on surrounding objects. The HR 6819X black hole is a non-emitting type as it has no X-ray activity or accretion disk around it, making it a dormant black hole. HR 68199X is one of the smallest black holes we know of. It's only 30 kilometers in diameter, roughly the size of a metropolitan area of a large city. This, despite its small size, it's incredibly dense and massive, packing the mass equivalent to five suns into that tiny 30 kilometer space. A black hole is known to have infinite gravity, and nothing can escape if it gets too close, not even light. And how is a black hole formed? We understand gravity as a curvature in space. The more massive an object, the greater the curvature it causes in space. Space-time is a set of coordinates where space and time form a four-dimensional structure with space in three dimensions and time as the fourth dimension. The perception of time depends on speed. The faster you move, the less time passes relative to an observer. That's why in science fiction movies, when characters travel at extreme speeds, they return younger than those they left behind. Gravity can be understood as a form of acceleration, pulling us constantly toward the center of the Earth. Stars remain stable when two opposing forces are in balance. Gravity constantly tries to pull all the mass into the smallest possible volume, compressing the atoms in the core and raising the temperature to millions of degrees. However, the star isn't compressed because nuclear fusion releases a vast amount of energy outward, counteracting the gravitational pressure. This balance between gravity and nuclear fusion is called hydrostatic equilibrium. When atoms fuse, new elements are created, making the star's matter progressively heavier. A very massive star ends its cycle when it produces too much iron. Iron has many accumulated protons and neutrons and triggers an endothermic reaction, meaning it absorbs more energy than it produces during fusion. The energy produced by iron fusion becomes insufficient to maintain equilibrium, so the immense gravitational pressure collapses the star toward its core at millions of kilometers per hour, leading to a powerful explosion known as a supernova. Up to 90% of the star's matter is expelled into space after the supernova.
the remaining matter compresses into a minimal point, thus forming the black hole. The black hole remains smaller than anything can be, essentially having no size at all. It becomes an infinitely small point. The gravity, or curvature in space, is so intense that it creates a boundary called the event horizon, beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. The more matter the black hole consumes, the larger it becomes. Beyond the event horizon, there is no return. To escape, one would need to surpass the speed of light. Once past the event horizon, matter is broken down into elementary particles. What happens next is unknown, as not even light escapes to tell us. The immense gravity of a black hole curves both space and light passing nearby, causing the gravitational lensing effect. This phenomenon was predicted by Einstein in 1915. According to astrophysicists, this discovery is just the tip of the iceberg of a much larger population of black holes scattered throughout the galaxy. Computer models predict that the Milky Way contains at least 100 million black holes. So far, only 20 have been observed. There are likely many more, even closer to us. If you enjoyed and learned something new here, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next journeys into space. Is there a place in the universe you'd like to explore? Share your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.